Give me your attention is what big companies say. They want to draw your eyes in with certain ads that they create. Now, some, some companies will drop millions of dollars in these commercials. You know, high edit budgets that match that of Avatar. Uh, other ones uh, seem to just hire anyone on the streets and they end up creating some absolute awful abominations that instead of me and you wanting to buy the products, we just completely want to run the opposite way. Here's some of those awful products that I'm talking about. Congratulations on your new Dixon City Hyundai. We've got selection. A thousand cars to choose from. Our service can't be beat. Bumper to bumper, you can't lose. So when it comes to your next car, we have just one thing to say. Get exactly what you want. Come to Dixon City Hyundai. Not often is it that I find myself in a little bit of a predicament where I watch an advert and I'm I'm somehow asking more questions at the end of the video than I was at the beginning. Who is this man? Who's whose father is this, first of all? When did he get out of jail? Is is he allowed is he allowed near children? Because I'm I'm assuming probably not. Same. Same. Well my guy got the same body type as a fucking minotaur from from Greece. So yes, we're only a few seconds in. And I feel like you guys really get the gist of things around about now. This man needs help. His baby mama put him out and he ain't got no furniture. What the hell a tarnation are we gonna do? This is actually extremely sad. If you guys listen to what he says at the beginning of the video, he claims that he is now homeless, which isn't very poggers, and actually, Brings a little tear to my eye. Let him have it. Buzz lady, buzz lady, this man need a bed. And all he can afford is 69 a month. Nice. How you gonna get another one without a bed? Come on, baby. Not nice. I didn't like that, guys. This man need a TV for his bedroom. All he can afford is 59 dollars a month. You know he got all them children. 73 inches, baby. Buzz lady. Okay, look, listen. She's like the main actor in this, okay? But th does she really need to be there? Uh, and is the baby really essential after every single sentence necessary? I feel threatened. Like, I, I feel threatened. I feel I'm in danger for my safety. I don't like this. <laughs> you know, if I... It's not convincing me enough. And my guy is dead. <laughs> she said baby too many times and my boy is now in a coma. He, he is he is now dead. <laughs> hey, Buzz Lake, this man needs air conditioning. It's hot on the street, and he only can pay $49 a month. I'll cool him down, baby. Okay, stop. Stop. Guys, I'm just, I'm just fucking getting what? Look at his face. My guy, my guy's shocked. I'm not going to lie. I know that the shop is really just answering every prayer for this poor homeless man right now. But you know what? She, she's giving a solution as well for every single thing that they're saying. And she's offering it for free. She... She is the new Mother Teresa, I'm saying. No money down, no credit check, all the time. Hey, you might be okay. This line only eats good food. Mayflower Buffet. Yes, it really is that good. You know when you just watch something and you can tell that the quality before releasing this video it clearly went through quite a few levels before it got released. You know, the, the quality is at the highest peak it could possibly be. Look at that animation. The legs of that tiger running are literally better than the horses running from Red Dead Redemption 2. I am mind blown right now. I don't know what the hell that has to do with a buffet, but wow. At the corner of 3rd and Steaks, it's great. Okay, but that's that's illegal. You can't, no. Tony the Tiger will be in touch. I don't, I don't really know about that one, guys. I don't know. <laughs> It looked a little bit uh, shady towards the end there on the le legal side of things. I don't know if they can get away with that. But as great as the high budget adverts really are, my favorite, my favorite adverts is the ones where they actually put the physical things into use, you know, and it would be like a completely useless thing. But they try and use it for some weird wacky kind of way to convince you and me that you need this product. You know, with the, the number at the bottom of the screen and they have real life people acting out in day-to-day -day life just 
with the product. Mm, that those are the adverts that I like. Millions of women like yourself suffer from a poor night's rest. Sleeping on your side without proper breast support can. Oh, honey, t tell me about it, guys. I just. I can relate. Just, I, I can relate on so many levels. I pulled up enough hair, dog hair, out of my carpet to make another dog. That, did, 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 what, what? Huh? Look, I hear you, Wendy, but are we really certain that that's ethically okay to create another living thing through the hair that you found on your carpet? I'm just saying. You know. Have some time to think about that. Maybe sleep on it. Tiny hot dogs on a plate, grill, or other cooking device, because of their round shape, they roll all over the- No, they don't. They don't, no. Shut up. Because of the way that the burger is designed, I find myself that the burger, when you lift up the oven, it rolls away. Buy our new triangle burgers. Yeah, no. Shut up, bro. This is that I, I, I had on my heart can say that's never happened to me. My guy's barbecue is literally at like a 90 degrees. I don't really understand how this one keeps happening, to be honest. I need some of those other types of hot dogs that, you know, the, the non rolly ones. Ugh, it's the worst thing ever. They just create these problems that don't even exist in the first place. And that really is the uh, beauty of TV, guys. Place and many end up on the ground. And many end up on the ground. Who's cooking your food? Just spit him around the chair 20 times really quick and said, Hey, David, now go flip the sausages. The guy's like drunk. They just gave him some black tar heroin and tried to get him to cook the sausages. Ah, not again. They are waving all over the place. You know, you know, are you nervous, David? Are you nervous? Deep breath. You got it this time, Buster. We can't all be winners. You got it. Is he gonna now suggest that we cook those sausages? That is fucking, that's bigger than me. Please don't say you're gonna cook that. Like, I, I don't want that. What a waste! Okay, well, okay. Now he's threatened. I've never seen someone get so mad in an advert before. What a waste! I hate waste! Buddy, I, I hear ya. I'm just not, I'm passionate about that too. Maybe not quite as much as you, but chill. I need to scream. So much money for these small bottles. And every time gotcha. you buy it, I'm sure you say the same thing that I say. Um, why do I spend so much money for such a small bottle? Am I right? Yeah. <laughs> I do that. Making eggs makes a mess. They stick to the pan, they flop when you flip, and the yolks always drip. And after you cook them up, there's all that cleanup. Are you- <laughs> Oh my god! Who are they hiring for this kind of stuff? Like, Jesus Christ! I'm starting to feel uh, around about this kind of time that this really doesn't- I, I don't think it's the eggs fault. Or the pots or pans that they're clearly about to show. You ever considered it? Maybe you. It may be you. Maybe you're the problem. I think you are. <laughs> oh my god. You hate it when you're about to cook and you just have a heart attack out of nowhere? Oh my god, it is just so inconvenient. <sighs> you tired of fussing with giant pasta pots? Not really, no. They, they seem to work pretty okay. Because I don't really pick up my pots and pans like this. Uh... I like to use my hands. Oh my days, man. These adverts are wild. Trainers, timers, stirring and testing. Everyone loves butter, but getting it out of the fridge, out of the wrap, and onto your food is a real hassle. That's right. Carrying your money and credit cards in a wallet can be dangerous. And if you carry it in your back pocket, it can cause back problems. I don't know if my guy just flexed on me or, or what. You guys ever just... You have such big wallets that when you sit down just from the... The heaps of cash that I keep inside this wallet. Just so much money. Oh my, it just gives me uh, my back. Ah, oh. one solution I can think of. I need to stop making as much money. That is really the only solution. My guy just flexed on us. He's not even trying to sell anything. He just flexed really hard. I just make heaps of money. When I sit down, it just uh, it hurts my back. Fun, fun mail, fun mail maybe guys. I, I... You love that low cut top for going out at night. But in the office, it's just not right. You've tried- It's not right. It's just not right anymore. Yeah, it's not. It's, uh, maybe change tops is what I'm gonna say. I think, uh, that could be the answer to that. Well, what, let's, let's, let's see. It's safety pins, but- <laughs> Can't find what you need in that overstuffed, outdated wallet? Stop damaging your credit cards or using money clips that aren't secure. Stop flexing on me. Oh, <laughs> uh, guys, I just, I love my old wallet. I, I really do. I like it a lot, but I have a few complaints. 
when I try to squeeze this wallet that is just absolutely filled to the brim with cash because I make so much money. Oh, it's it's just it's just irritating. I just uh, I just uh, <laughs> I hate it. I it's outdated. But I try to fit all my Popeyes dollars in here. I just they don't fit. And when I sit down, it hurts my back because I have too much cash. Why is every commercial a mix of uh, stuff that I really have never thought of <laughs> and don't need and uh, them just flexing on me? It's <laughs> That's all it is. Is your keyboard a germ jungle? Does your cell phone have a sign? Okay, well, bro, to fucking hell. Really? <laughs> Really? Really, Kevin? Re re that's how the, you, you have, look at all the space around you, and that's where you chose to sneeze. Kevin, you're the problem. Just imagine being, uh, <sighs> Not again, not again. Uh, my guy could have seized anywhere in the room, but he, ch he, he did that on purpose. You can crack him. I'm getting mad now. I can't. I can't even lie, guys. I mean, this really. Who are they letting cook for these commercials? I'm. I, I'm actually getting kind of mad. <laughs> like imagine you just sat there, you know, uh, in the morning. Your mom goes to make you breakfast, and she pulls one of these. You can crack them. Why would you do that? Why would you this way? You can crack them that way. Yeah, maybe just maybe just just crack it normally. Oh my god, guys, please. Who are we hiring for these commercials? You can crack them this way. He fucking slams it into his plate. And we've all done this, but no matter- I don't think we have. I- I, I think this is an ish you, not, not an ish me. Guys, let me know in the comments. Has anyone- <laughs> has any, uh, Generally, has anyone ever cracked an egg like this? Where you just- you didn't know your own strength. Again, it's just- they're flexing on me. They're just- these adverts are them flexing on me. That's all it is. They have too much money, they're too strong. I just- I don't know my own strength sometimes. Oh, fud. Dude, just crack the egg normally. Are, are, are we are we really doing the shell in the bowl? Yes. Yes, we have done that before. I, I I will give you that. I just don't know my own strength sometimes. I'm just so strong and rich. <laughs> How you crack them, you always end up picking out eggshells. Well, no. Not every time, no. Like, I'll be honest, I'll be the first to admit, but that last five minutes was a little bit stressful. I think I've got a little bit red in the cheeks around about now, and I'm getting stressed. I, I just want to look at a commercial that just gets to the point. What are we actually trying to buy here? You know what I mean? Also, if you could uh, mix that into a cool little song, just to calm, calm me down. I feel like I've been getting a little bit too aggressive towards the end of this, and I'm not proud of who I'm becoming. Please, Mike, if, if you would, take it away. Howdy y'all, this here's Mike. Down at Mike's Golf Shop. Where we buy golf. That's right. We buy golf clubs. Mike's Golf Shop. Come on over here. We buy golf clubs. Over at Mike's Golf Shop. I'm just a little bit confused. What what does he what does Mike sell? Uh is it? Come on down here! We buy golf clubs. That's right. We buy golf clubs. Just uh, wait. What was it? I forgot. Uh, I think his name's Mike. But what? Ah, uh, fuck. What does he sell? We buy golf clubs. We buy golf clubs. Oh no! Fuck it. Slipped. Um. God, man. What, we buy golf clubs. Uh, what does he sell? Like, um, I hear you, bud, but. Uh, I see. We buy golf clubs. We buy golf clubs. Oh, I think he sells golf clubs. I think. I don't, I'm not sure. But what I am sure of uh, is I feel a hell of a lot better now. Thank you, Mike. I really do appreciate that. Um, ah, shit. I forgot again. What does he sell? <laughs> clubs or something? I don't know. I forget. Anyway, guys, um, that has been a nice trip down memory lane of uh, adverse through the years. Uh, surprisingly, there's way more, so if you enjoyed this, I, I would happily do part two of some of the most amazing adverts that I found. I'm gonna go now and buy every single one of these products because, well, how, how could you not? And I've really actually had time to reflect and think, and yes, I, I do I do need a new wallet. From the vast amount of money, sheer amount of money, you wouldn't understand, just heaps of money that I have uh, in my wallet. I just, just, it cannot be bound 
to that. And I will be honest, it actually causes me a little bit of back pain. I just make so much money. So yeah, I think I'm going to do that. And then also, um, I think that will be the answers to all my problems. So I'm going to go and do that right now, guys. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. And I will see you all in tomorrow's video. Uh, goodbye, my children. Bye-bye.